What's, a, what's gonna happen in five years to you guys? We yeah, five know, years. We could have never guessed five years ago that we would be here. We we know that we just finished a really good record, and, and we're hoping it does well. You know, um, five years will be the year two thousand. Actually, that I, I know I, that I'm gonna party like, like it's 1999. 1999. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't come to party, hey, don't bother knocking on my door. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hopefully, uh, I'd love the band to be together in five years and still making music. I I think we will be. Yeah, I think so too. Park, is that ratty song or gross IA? But, you know, these are girls. <laughs> Gortex. Around. Oh, well, that's quite all right. These are boys. Mr. Gortex, my great father. They won't all wear them. <laughs> Mr. Gortex. Barbie <laughs> lolly Say it again, Chewbacca. <laughs> Oh, can it, Chewy? Laugh it up, Fuzzball. <laughs> Look at these silly looking goofs. How you doing? <laughs> Nick Page here <laughs> on drums. <laughs> wonder if I should get one of those nose guards. Tyler, you look too excellent. Do I? This thing hanging down on my face doesn't look. No, it does. That's the best part of the look. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Edwardson. Yeah, see, we're busting the farts. Hey, you just go over and oh, pat oh, that oh. dog there. That dog has one less eye than me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's been an emergency. I'll save the ship. Hey, there he goes. All right. Right on. She came back. But I can't save my hands. Oh, wow. Take her up to Monto, Monto, Monto. Take her up to Monto, Langaroo. Do you? You heard a bunch of us turn to Georgie Euler Hoster. He took his butt and lost her up the four eagle land. He first put on his ball and then he buttoned up his trousers and he fisted for the crowd. He has done this before. Hi! Hi! Fair naked ladies, we came to London for the pizza. We're staying for the burgers. The lights are on, nobody's home. My elevator is on the top. And I'm playing with Oleg and lost the marble. Success or if it's if it's just the traveling life, but you're never home. You gotta like figure out a system of keeping in touch with being home or feeling like you're home. You know, living in a bus with twelve sweaty men. I've always felt at home with twelve sweaty men. That's true. So but success I, hasn't changed that. At I all. love the movie, so I'm just trying to base my life on it. Remember with Jack Klugman? Well, yeah, but that sweaty men, the trial. Yeah, it was a trial. Like twelve, it was like, but it took place in a steam room. Yeah. Um, Ed, you got a baby on the way. How's that going? Uh, it's going great. Uh, my wife is uh, due in November, and so that's, you know, it's a huge thing that I'm excited about. It's a little hard to be away on the road right now, and, uh, you know, knowing that she's, uh, her belly is getting larger. But it was excellent when we, we just swung through Toronto for a couple of days, and I could feel the baby kicking and stuff. And it was really cool. It was fun. I swung uh, through Toronto for a couple of days, and I also uh, felt a baby kicking inside of me. <laughs> Guys, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I think fans of, of, you know, fans of Bare Naked Ladies are, are fans of the music. We, we got so successful in, in Canada when, when Gordon came out that, that we were kind of like, uh, it was beyond the music for a while. We were a fad and, and we were, you know, uh, hip at the time for everyone to be into. So, yes, and so people were, were into us for that reason. But there are also just a lot of just plain fans up there as well. We have the first pictures with our new camera. Yay! Let's try this. Jim, zoom in. I'm going to get out of focus. You don't focus, it focuses itself. Okay. See you, Ed. All right, see you.
you, Jim. I got a new effects rack. Uh, I don't know if you like it, <laughs> but uh, I got to get a road case for this because it makes my, it makes the guitar sound great. Oh, that's great, Ed. It's got just the right amount of EQ for me. Mm -hmm. I can take I can take each string on six channels, and uh, it just really allows me to separate the sound. <laughs> I feel a lot better about my guitar. It's, it's good to feel good, Ed. <laughs> it's been a slice of organic pizza. Okay, what, what we've got? What do we got here? We've got the we've got the, the makings of a Jim Cregan sandwich. Yes. Now here, you know, your standard sardines and tomato sauce. You know what? A bit of an exotic treat, a it cheap was, treat. It was two for a buck. Two that's why. That's why we bought. Robert and I picked okay. those up. And I, you know, not bad. I like a sardine occasionally. A tomato sauce, extra treat. Your, your regular white pony tail sliced bread. You know, you remember it from when you were a kid. It was all you ate. And. Uh, a cooking onion. <laughs> a cooking onion. I know that, um... A raw cooking onion. I think you should slice an onion, uh, a, a tomato. What's this called? A farmer? Uh. <laughs> a Swedish meatball! <laughs> Here we are, we're gonna, we're gonna record my first Heimlich maneuver. Oh. <laughs> you alright, Jim? <laughs> Just need a little time. <laughs> well, sometimes you can get, uh, you know, you can get some bad feelings when you're eating uh, sardines in tomato with cooking onion and white bread. Dempsters, mind you. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yeah, exactly like that. How, how are you focusing? I'm Maybe trying. Beautiful. That's a good looking sandwich. Hello. Hello, Jim. How you feeling, Jim? Coming down with something? No, I'm just all just, down. Just <laughs> I'm down with something. So this is only a three-hour tour, right? At least. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Cregan. Three-hour tour, Ed. Uh, no. Look how many levels about this. Let's count. One. Four. I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> seven! Okay. Jim's got seven layers on. Nice. Uh, yeah, but I don't I even have any skin. What? I'm going to tear you apart. I'm going to rip you alive. Jim, you're always the guy who gets right in the f***ing lens I know. of the camera. Because I'm going to tear you apart. Conscious of not slotting ourselves into a particular thing. We d Bare Naked Ladies is not a political band. Bare Naked Ladies is not a funny band. Bare Naked Ladies is not a, a serious again. band. You know, um, we've been conscious of letting whatever we feel come out, and we're we're funny guys who have serious thoughts. We're you know, we're we're multifaceted people, and we just let that come out in the music. I think. Yeah. I mean, more than anything else, uh, you know, we've never tried to capture any or, or target any kind of audience. I think we've always just done what we do. The only people we've ever targeted are people that we think are like us, I think. And that doesn't mean come from the same kind of backgrounds or even like the same kind of music, but just have some sense of humor or mentality or something that's similar to us. Yeah. I, I once, I once um, came home pretty late at night and 
this old guy across the street was sitting on his porch and said, call the police, call the police. And I didn't know what was wrong. I thought, you know, is he hurt or what? I, I think he was just like drunk or something like that. But anyway, he's just saying, call the police. So I go inside and I call 911. I said, look, there's this old guy across the street, got a really thick accent, can't tell what he's saying. But he said, call the police. I think this is like some kind of emergency. I don't know if he's hurt or if he just can't get into the house or something. Uh, and they said, well, can we get your address and your phone number? And what's your name? I said, Steve Page. Said, You're not Steve Page from Bare Naked Ladies, are you? I said, yeah. He goes, hey, how's it going? I said, fine, but this is 911. Aren't you like saying an emergency, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, cool. Well, that was cool talking to you, man. All right. Like, that was 911. What are you trying to say? Are you saying that 911 is perhaps a little bit of a joke? Well, I'm that? saying it's there, hey, there's some degree of humor. <laughs> get up, get up. Can I get a shot of the. Uh, Go the get a shot of whatever you want. This is a view that's been captured many times. It's a good view though still, but you know, you can't lose. No, you can't. I mean, just the idea, you can see the whole skyline of the city. You can see everything except for the water, which you can then see through the window in the studio itself. I always, I stand out here and I think, all these windows, and there's no one looking at me. There's no one looking at me out of these windows, and if they are, they're not waving. What do we got over here, Ty? We got uh, some caribou sausage. Got some uh, smoked char. Frozen smoked char, I might add. Hello? Hello? <laughs> What's the guy's name from the Muppets? Ustin Borden. No, no, the magnificent guy with his uh, boomerang fish. I don't know, but I'm you know the guy I mean, don't you? No, I don't. <coughs> Hello and welcome to Science Experimentation in the North. I'm your host, Bunsen Honeydew, and I'm about to shock the living daylights out of myself. Follow me. Getting prepared here. Building up a nice electrical charge. Now, ordinarily, you know, you're in a clothing store, you touch something with the rack, you get a little bit of a, a spark or a little shock, you go, oh! You do not get the Ontario Science Center. This is what this is. Ah, uh, that was nothing. <laughs> Boy, it's good to be in the north where all the heating is electric. Let me get that door for you. <laughs> you see that? That is science. I'm Bunsen Honeydew. Good night. <laughs> that was good.
was great. It was good. It was. Did you get the? Did you get the angle? There? I got that one. It went a little out of focus after that, though. That's good. Thank God that this stuff is. <laughs> 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 I heard that from here. It's <laughs> Yeah, right. While I'm you are you're leading everybody. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. 